Have you ever seen something that made you want to sell all your possessions and completely change your lifestyle? Yeah, me either. But I do want to tell you about something interesting I saw a few months ago. I was browsing YouTube and came across a video by user David Wetzel called Snorkeling Mountain Lake, Snow Lake in Washington State's Alpine Lakes Wilderness. I'd never considered the idea of diving in an alpine lake given the long hike in and frigid glacial waters, but the footage looked so incredible I couldn't get it out of my head. And the longer I thought about it, the more I wanted to try it myself. So I decided to do just that. I was going to head for Washington and go dive in an alpine lake. I packed my bags and left at 4.30 the next morning. And after dropping my buddy Dylan off at the airport, I headed north. My car doesn't have air conditioning and suffering through the torrid heat of a midsummer day in Southern California, I found that rolling my windows up until I'm sweating profusely and then rolling them down to let the wind wick my sweat was the best way to stay cool. Pleasant. After making it home and spending some quality time with my family, I was ready to quit messing around and do what I'd set out to do. So I packed my trusty MIS backpack with my dive gear, wetsuit, towel, and headed for the mountains. Snake in the grass. I chose to hike to the same lake that I saw in the video, Snow Lake, located just off of Interstate 90 at Snoqualmie Pass in Washington. The hike was not too difficult and offered some beautiful views along the way. And upon arriving, I took a moment to soak in the fact that I was really there and about to experience something truly amazing. Yeah, that lasted about 10 seconds. It was time to suit up and hop in. To be totally honest, it did feel a little silly throwing on a wetsuit 4,000 feet up in the mountains and I did get some strange looks. But I justified what I was doing by telling myself, screw them. They all suck anyways and I'm way better than everyone. And with that, I dove in. In all seriousness, the dive itself was spectacular. I was 30 feet under the surface and completely alone in the Alpine wilderness. The water was crystal clear and the coolest part was all the wild trout that were so obviously curious about what I was. It was the coldest water I'd ever been in and I only lasted about 40 minutes, but that was plenty to quench my thirst for adventure. I headed down the mountain and as I got back to my car, I was still riding the high of being in the lake. It was an amazing experience and left me hungry for my next alpine dive and maybe some fried trout. Ah!